everybody. Um, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, something that I've kind of been hacking on, on and off in 15 minute bursts for a little while. Um, it's not ready and it's not finished and it's probably not useful, but I find it interesting. Um, so late last year, I was working for a client and we needed to do a UI like that. Um, it's just a normal entity reference field. They needed to select a particular entity. It was a custom entity for their site. Um, and it, there were a lot of them, so it needed to be autocomplete. Um, the only problem with that is that the, the default autocomplete plugin for entity reference basically uses a like query on the, prime, on, on the label column of the entity. So if you're a node and you have a title, or you're a user and you have a username, or you're any number of different entities and you have like a single column, um, and you have a single column which is the kind of the name of your entity, that's fine, that works great. If you've got a schema that looks kind of something like that because you're dealing with people and they have a first name and a middle name and a last name and they're separate things, then you get to choose which of those you would like to autocomplete on. So you might be able to autocomplete on Thomas's but completely ignore all their last names. Um, that's kind of suck. So I was also playing at the same time with Solar and Search API, so I thought, well, why not use Search API as the back end for this autocomplete stuff? So I kind of started hacking up a, um, an autocomplete, or a, an autocomplete plugin for um, entity reference that uses Search API to do the searching for you. So I'll give a little bit of a demo of that. So I've just basically got Drupal, um, 7.2.2, and it's got C tools because everything needs C tools. Um, I've used Devel to generate a bunch of user accounts um, that will be indexing. It's got Entity because everything needs Entity. Um, entity Reference to allow me to add the reference field that I'm going to autocomplete, and Search API and Search API Solar. And we've also got um, the little module that I've written to do the autocompletion. So. I've also installed um, a Solar instance, which is just Solar and following the instructions for Search API Solar, copying across the config files because cargo culting is fun. Um, and I've got a Drupal install. So all I've installed so far are Entity Reference and Search API and uh, Solar Search. So those are installed. I've used Devel Generate to generate um, 50 users. <clears throat> um, there they all are there. And they've got a bunch of different fields on them. So they've got name and I've added picture and a term reference into a term of animals for their favourite animals. So, and a biography. So we've got some nice Latin text to look at, we've got the names of some animals, we've got axolotls and, and cats and a few other bits and pieces. Um, there's very little intersection between the animal names and the Latin text. So. I want to be able to search in my autocomplete complete for people who favour axolotls because they're awesome, and also perhaps for people who, I don't know, dollar or whatever that means in Latin. Um, <clears throat> so at the moment, it's just doing standard autocomplete. It's it's an entity reference field. It's using the autocomplete plugin. That's it. So I can search for. AX and get nothing, even though we just saw that there's an axolotl loving person. There's at least one. Um, there's in fact almost all of them somehow have wound up with axolotl as their randomly generated value, but whatever. Um, so I've created this content type. It's just a content type. It's got an entity reference field. Um, we're going to create some references um, just because social created content, I don't know. Um, so the subject field is we need to select the user that we're making this reference about and then we can badmouth them or whatever. So at the moment it's using a default, it's using the autocomplete um, widget, which is cool. Um, if you haven't used it, it looks kind of like this. You tell it which, which, um, which entity you want to reference in this reference field. Um, they can only be one. And, <coughs> pardon me. Um, we, where are we? And then you tell it, how you want it to be able to, to be able to select things. So that's what you get out of the box with entity select. Um, but we want to do search. So we'll set up search API, which is always fun if it works. Uh, where is it? Hello, there we are. 
So the reason I'm using Search API instead of instead of um, Apache Solar, which is the other the alternative search module basically, is that Search API lets you create multiple indexes. So I think it's pretty important here to make sure that you aren't going to be indexing, say, the confidential private details of user accounts and chucking it in a search index that will be exposed through your search page. Um, and having separate indexes means that you can control which bits of the site are accessing which, bits of the, which other bits of the site. So we're going to first set up a server. So, Solar. You just give it a name, you tell it that it's a Solar server because Search API, have, if you haven't used it before, it supports different backends. And then we need to just give it the various details. Um, those defaults should be correct. And it connects fine. So the second part to that is now that we've got a search server set up and that it's talking to it, we need to give it an index. So it comes out of the box with a default index, which is basically you turn that on and you've got a replacement for the built-in search, um, except good. So we want to add a custom index that's going to contain all of the index data of the data we want to autocomplete. So we're going to be doing... Um, And a user order in complete index. Um, call it, naming these things is kind of a bit hard because referenced entities in an index are themselves entities. So sometimes if you just name your index user, then you'll see user used in context and you're not sure whether it's talking about users or if it's talking about the index called user. And yeah, um, just put index in the name of all your indexes. <clears throat> but we're gonna be indexing users and it's enabled and we're gonna put it on the solar server we just created. And we create the index. So part of the configura configurability of this is that you can select exactly what you want to index, which fields in the entities you want to be indexed, and how you want to index them. So we're gonna include, uh, label um, the name, the, the username should be full text. Um, we might even wanna do email address because we might wanna search for Facebook, maybe, and, and see all of the users that are, have Facebook in their profile. We probably also want to index favorite animal and biography, wherever that is. There we are, biography. And because this is solo, we can do boosting on different fields, so we can say that the username is more important than the words in the biography. Um, so actually, let's do that. So the name, if there's a hit in the name field, that's like clearly you were searching for that person. So let's boost their score up a bit. Um, also, I like animals, so we'll try and boost the favorite animal if we can. Right, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll include the animal name as well in the full text search and we'll make that kind of like the next most important thing. So now we've told Solar or Search API what fields of the, the entity that we want, we want to index. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do, like including the entire thing. So you've, we're all familiar with display, um, display modes like teaser and full. There's another one that off, usually most people don't see called search index. And when it's doing the indexing, it will process the node or the user with that display and then send the, the result to the search engine. So that's what will get indexed. So you, can ha you have the opportunity to, to bake in extra stuff that isn't actually part of the entity into the templates and get that indexed too. Um, I've never had a need to, but whatever. Um, there's a bunch of extra stuff like ignore case and HTML and some other things. But we'll just do that. So now we've got it set up and it's a matter of saying index now. Um, and it's going to churn my 50 generated users through and it's indexed 52 of them, um, including an on and, and um, admin. So that's there. So the next step is to use this data in our autocomplete stuff. So we need to turn on that module. Uh, where are we? So, I mean, entity, entity reference search API autocomplete is kind of a mouthful, um, but I couldn't find a, find a way to kind of shorten that w without losing something. So if anyone has any suggestions for names that are meaningful and contain all of those details, I'm all ears because, yeah, the function names are about a line long in the module. So that's that enabled. So now we can basically go back to our content type. So now we've got uh, the entity reference field. I'm pretty sure you can change the way these work. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So now, when we're setting up our entity reference fields, we have a second option. We can search using search API to do our auto completion. So you select that, and these things have all got various configs, and it's CTools, form, Ajaxy stuff, and I still aren't, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to write, supposed to write them correctly. And this is one of the, the, the parts where clearly this module is not finished because we know that we're referencing users, but it li lists um, a node index. Um, eventually, I'll get around to finishing this stuff. But you basically select the index that you want to use to drive your auto-completion. So we'll use the user auto-complete index that we just created. And then it can do a variety of th things, like it can ask for a list of the fields in the index, and it will give them to you there. So we've got the fields there that are available from Search API to, to sort on. So you can't sort on full text fields because they get processed in strange ways by Solo and it doesn't actually have the values to sort by. So this is quite cool because it will only give you the values that you have that you can actually sort by. Um, alas, it doesn't work. So we'll just search by sort rank, ah, sort by search ranking because we want the best results. So with those items changed, we should now, hopefully, have better results, maybe. OK, well, you can see I've searched for AD, and that first one doesn't have AD in their username. Clearly, something is going right there. Um, equally clearly, you can see that there's some fairly easy things that we could do to make this UI better. Um, along that line, those lines, if anybody here is familiar with the Search API API um, and knows how to con um, convince it to generate um, excerpts, please tell me. <laughs> um, because ideally, we would have the username and then an excerpt of the search results showing you why. Uh, uh, no, it's not doing it. Ah, oh, there we go. So these are people presumably who like cats. I think cat is a fairly, it's probably in Latin somewhere, so. Yeah, so axolotl lovers are in there. Um, I think elephant is an animal as well. Maybe not. Dogs. Ah, oh, there's a bud budgie or two. There must be. No. Oh. Um, so apparently only axolotls and cats are, are it's, seriously, I've never seen Devel Generate do that before. It's I generated 50 users and I went through 30 and that was just like 20 axolotls in a row and then five cats. Um, it was very strange. But anyway, there it is. Um, if you want to do search API coding or you know how to and would like to tell me how to get it to do what I want it to do, come and do it. And if you think that this should be finished, um, tell me because at the moment it's just at a fairly abandoned sandbox on drupal.org. So if somebody actually wants it, I'm, I'm quite happy to finish it off. Um, questions? Okay, yes. But um, something just as a kind of counterpoint for if you're trying to do something similar to this that we've done in the past, particularly in like Drupal 6, um, is to use um, the CC key field uh, field calc um, and allows you to actually kind of yep. you just create a hidden field or even use the title field and actually put the various fields into that and then use that as your autocomplete. Um, it's obviously not quite as configurable as this, but just for anybody else who's interested in this and may not yeah. want to go this route. Just the the specific mo motivation I had was that um, this particular database was owned by DBA and there were to be no more tables. Thank you very much. Um, so it was very much that, it, this stuff was in kind of like in a separate schema and it was, yeah. Um, the data was owned by somebody when we were presenting it, basically. So we were trying to reference into existing tables that had a structure that we could expose through, through entities and there were no fields at all. It was all properties. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, if you've got a one-off and, and you can hand, do custom autocomplete code. So the, the entity reference module has got a generic autocompleter, which is just look in the schema, find the, the, the label column, and just like on that. 
Um, and then it's got specialised ones for Node, for user, for, for this and that. And you can just write your own. Um, it just puts the entity, the entity name in a class, and if it exists, it uses it. Um, and then you can just write your methods in there. The, the methods are all very simple. So if you want to, in that example, we could just do, you know, split, split the search string up into terms, write a great big Boolean where clause, liking each term against each field that we care about, and, I don't know, trying to work out a score or something. Um, but I was thinking, hey, let's just write this once and also search API. I want to learn search API. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, look, this is probably in the distant past, but we did something once <coughs> where we were using views to return the results, and then you could yeah. format the, so views using search API, yes. and then you could return whatever you want. I think we were returning like images or media elements or something like yeah. that, something similar. <coughs> I, I can't remember the details, but I'll, I'll try and find it for you if you're interested. Yeah, that'd be great. <coughs> 